Welcome back to Cryptopia, where we go over the wet and wild happening in NFT land. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way in today. The association, uh, uh, the association NFT. Um, so this was an MEA pushed NFT project. Um, not the first of its kind. They've released a couple others in the past as well. But this one I really like. And I really think that what they were doing with this is kind of where NFTs tend to shine. They basically had um, you when you get these, I believe they're associated with uh, certain players. Basically, each one of these, the, there's supposed to be a total of 18,000. And those 18,000 are connected to, you know, one of the players throughout the entire NBA um, association going on right now. This current playoff or this current uh, season. So... What they have is that you you get the when the reveals revealed you get the player and depending on the dynamics that take place with the player and the team the NFT will change dramatically or a little bit here and there changing different things associated with like how good the player does or how bad the player does or how good the team does and how bad the team does and I think that stuff is really really cool. To me, whenever they have stuff like this, like giving back to their fans, I think the Super Bowl did a similar kind of thing, but nothing crazy like this where it changes depending on how the player performs is really cool. I don't think they am the uh, Super Bowl. They had they were given like uh, NFT ticket stubs. So but like I love little stuff like this. I think this is really where NFTs tend to do some of the greatest Um you know, the current U uh, utility stuff or the PFP stuff is all really great. Um, I mean, the PFP stuff is fine, but the utility NFTs, you know, a lot of them are not going to succeed where they're trying to get to. So I, when, but when you have stuff like this, it's really nice and it's simple and it kind of gets the point across. And it's not too expensive either, which is really nice. Now, what happened, though, unfortunately, is these guys ended up um botching the whole thing right so the nba botched the ethereum nft drop as the association suffers exploits so basically what happened is that they you know they were supposed to be you're supposed to be able to mint but within the smart contract they never actually stipulated that there was a max per person's minting ability and what happened is that the users figured that out real quick and they were able to mint multiple of them and then resell them on the secondary market and i think they sold them for like uh you know uh it's in here look at how much they sold it for but it was like, it was like a thousand dollars like 0.3 eth or something like that like it came out to like a thousand yeah 0 0.3 eth roughly a thousand dollars at the time so it was an nft smart contract bug so in order to fix this they are upping the initial amount which was 17 and they're making it thirty thousand because these were supposed to be given out to the like they had just launched their discord very recently either like today or yesterday and they were supposed to be given out to the first people who came into the discord right early access to these discord members who wanted to be a part of uh you know, NBA history, and then also have these NFT, um, these NBA NFTs that they could, you know, keep forever or sell back one day or whatever, right? Especially if you keep that now, in the future, it could be worth a tremendous amount, especially if the player that they have continues to do better and better. So it sucks that that's how this turned out. It, it was a great idea and a great plan, and they still plan to execute on it. So it's not to say they just decided to drop the whole thing. I don't know if they're really going to go after the people who exploited the contract. You know, it's not really like a hacking or anything like that. They just saw an opportunity there. It was in the contract, and they were able to exploit it that way. It sucks that they didn't properly vet their own contract when they made this decision, but not much you can do. So anyways, I just wanted to talk about this real quick because I thought this was an interesting little tidbit that I came across right now. And it's just, you know, watch your contracts and, you know, even the big players are going to fuck shit up like this. And but it's nice to see that they're actually willing to, you know, they expanded their the the uh, the, the minting max that they had to 30,000 and allowing other people to get involved. So no one really has to lose anything. The people who got it have some extra made some quick money on the side or you just don't buy from them. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it for that video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.